Well, I'm getting ready to put my distributor in and it's not here yet. But uh, what I did is pull this number one plug out of here and I stuck a rag in it. Actually, a little piece of paper. And what I want to try to do is turn it over until it blows it out. And that should be telling me we're up pretty close. Yeah, popped it out right away. Didn't really tell me a hell of a lot there. I think I might have went past number one. So, I'll put another rag in it and try it again. There we go. Let's see if I can turn this long enough to tell something. There it went. That definitely brought it up on compression. Mark is here. Anyway. I'll have to play around with this. See if I can find a top dead center mark. Took a little doing again. I got it pretty close. Blew my little paper out. But I couldn't find my mark. And I went to put a wrench in there and turn the, turn the motor over. And there was no bolt in the harmonic balancer. So, it was a uh, 7 sixteenths by 20, so I got me a bolt that was about the right length, and I made me a big thick washer, uh, put that in there, got it tightened down, and just bumped it, so right now I got it about 10 degrees before top dead center on that timing mark and uh, I'm not going to try to get any closer than that so it's on top dead center or actually 10 degrees before and uh, have my number one plug so all I got to do is put my distributor in it point my uh point the rotor to wherever I'm going to have number one I'll probably try to put it in front here I don't know where they're supposed to be it doesn't make any difference I guess but it's set up for the putting the distributor in hopefully my distributor will get here today and I can fire this thing up and see what these mufflers sound like well I took some rust converter and pretty much sprayed all of the inside of the fenders here looks like I got some that I missed but I got a pretty good coat on all of it and uh, this should uh, kind of solve most of the rust problem inside of here this stuff dries pretty hard and black I wanted to try to clean up this frame and stuff before I put the wheels on and let it back down I need a lot of grease to scrape off there and paint it but <coughs> 
I recoded this a little here. I'm just doing it with a spray gun. Makes it a little better. A little better product. Here's this side of the frame. I need to fix a mount there. A lot of little stuff, but I'm just going to try to spray this inside of the, the fender. I should have done it when I had them off. I didn't. But I got a, a new gun. It's a good paint gun, but I can wash it out with water. Uh, but I'm just uh, trying to clean up the inside of these things for now just to see what we got and uh, I'll just take some uh, scraper and wire brush and I'll do the front part of this frame wheels are all done But basically just rust converter the inside of this. I'll spray some on here and we'll see what it looks like. Well, I got uh, that this pretty much squirted all down. Looks pretty decent. That place looks dry right there, but it's not. Yeah, pretty good uh, wet coat in there. So this fender's coated. It's already tell you can see where it's turning it brown already. This is kind of drying. You see it leaves a... Looks like it's glossy. Once it's completely dry, it won't be. But it converts the stuff real good. Well, let's see if we can take a look in here. I don't know if I've got enough light. Probably not. Can't really tell, but... Uh, It's uh, covered it up pretty good. I used two guns on it. About a quart. It's actually probably half a quart. But the stuff works good. It's expensive. It's like 75 bucks or something. But uh, a gallon, I'll do a couple cars, whole cars. I've already did all the, the outside of this cab with it. This was just the inner fenders. And, of course, when I get through with my welding and stuff, I'll put a little more on it. You see this one here could use another coat. Still kind of a red rust looking and this one here has been coated a couple times more black than red so press on I'm gonna cut my window out here laid it down here and uh, I'm welding up a little and grinding and welding and grinding I pretty much got this uh, completely welded up so moving along on that slow job and uh, my distributor came boy it's a monster compared to the Mopar ones but uh, I got me a fuel pressure regulator I put in the other side and this 
is pretty nice looking distributor sure a lot better than this old uh, rusty junk that I got laying there so we'll stick it in we should be able to fire this thing up here in about a half hour well I stuck it in there it's uh looks like it's about a quarter of an inch to go down it's probably not on the oil pump and I got the just for the fun of it I got that distributor pointing up here at number one um, I think it was in the back before but <coughs> it's setting in there I didn't put my plug or anything in in case I have to bring it around to top dead center again I'm just gonna try to bump it here I don't know if I can set the camera up where you can see Tripod. Where I put this thing? It's falling over and breaking. I guess it don't really make much difference if you see or not. Should be able to see that thing drop in there whenever. Try the other side. When we get it, to, yeah, I got a bunch of holes in over here. All right, got it propped up here. Turn it over, and it should uh, fall down. That's my fond hope. Hard to get to the key. Gotta watch at the same time. I'm gonna have to pull my steering wheel off. That's pretty easy. Watch it when I turn it over. Fill right in. I'm going to keep turning it. I'm going to put a piece of paper in it now and see if I can uh, make sure I'm on top of that center again. Well, I should blow that paper out of there when it comes around. Now, if I can see where I'm at down here. Well, how about that? Looks like I'm about uh, just barely past top dead center. And I've got the rotor pointed right at the front of the motor. I believe this turns clockwise. Yeah, the advance is going to pull it counterclockwise. So it's turning clockwise. I guess that's good enough. It's all down in there. I'll just put the clamp on it loosely and uh, put the cap back on and wire it and see what happens. Well, I got my distributor in there. I think it's about right. Got all the plug wires on. 
start. thought I'd do something here on the lathe. I've got this uh, little shifter knob here. And uh, they got some little plastic adapters. Here's the knob that I had on there. And uh, I got a, a tap here that will fit it. So what I'm going to do is just make a little... Uh, little spacer to put in there that little rubber thing just flopped all over the place and this is a uh, Delron I'm just gonna turn me out a piece here bore me a hole in it and uh, thread it and that should make this plenty strong so first thing we do is whittle this down to the diameter that I want it to go into the shifter stuff is real easy to machine. It actually makes a, a real tough piece. I don't know whether I want to really waste this good deal run or not, but I'm going to. 
just because I don't have any aluminum laying around that's that big. I've got this lay set up really tight. It's not, uh, not easy to adjust, but it's good and solid and it cuts, cuts real nice. And uh, steel. I use it to make these Hemini adapters that I sell. I can put a late model of the distributor in the early Hemi. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Probably I'll be using a different bit. Let me take some measurements here and uh, see what I need to do about making this the size. Well, I got this uh, turned down to size and threaded. So I'm just using a little cutoff tool now and parting it off. Until here it's kind of hard to feed this thing in. But this little lathe is doing what I need it to do. There's my little piece. Now yeah, it looks pretty good. It's threaded. Fits into my little shifter knob good here. Kind of trying to show you this one handed. But anyway, it does go in. And I've got a little set screw that goes in here. So I'll put that on and lock it down and see what it looks like. Well, there's that. That's kind of an interesting looking piece. I tighten it up real good. Uh, I can move it if I have to. But that Dilton does compress a little. So, looks like uh, it's working. It's plenty strong enough. I could move it if I wanted. But anyway, just a little better than that black knob. I need to get in here and take these gauges out. Probably the oil gauge works. Amp gauge might even work. They all might work. But I just need to, to clean them up and put a little paint on them maybe. They actually don't look that bad. The wires are pretty much there. But I had a little trouble figuring out how this... Uh, how to get them out well I had a lot of other things not worried about gauges I need to use some of my rust coating here on my steering wheel parts and get that all black I still gotta do a little plan with my floorboard that one there needs to be mounted in I wanna hook up this old emergency brake and, uh, of course, I only got an oil pressure gauge, and it's just, just kind of hanging here, ain't doing anything. My glove box is going to be okay. I think there was a clock in here. I'm not sure what went in here. <coughs> 
but uh, and of course I gotta I didn't bother trying to put this hinge or get it working in the window I'm gonna just mount it permanent I managed to get a little mirror that I put up here and it it's it's fine got a few places I burnt through here I'll weld them up it's pretty thin right there but I need to do a little patching and fixing I've got the the garnish molding for all the inside here I should have sprayed this roof too. Well, I still got some stuff in there. I'll do that. And I need to get into my doors here. I've got all the gears and stuff for the doors. And uh, the windows. So I need to lubricate that. Of course, I don't think I can take them out. I probably could with an impact. But uh, my first thing would be tr just try to get them freed up and moving up and down so I can put some kind of windows in here. I still got work to do on the windshield. But, uh, found out yesterday my timing light was only halfway on my, on my wire, on my, uh, descending unit. So, I'm probably gonna... <coughs> start this thing up again, see if I can get my timing light to fire right adjust the timing I'm not going to work on it much but it's definitely cold it's just about freezing out here so I think this would be a good test start and see if I can get the timing light to work and then set my timing I didn't go around it yesterday with uh when I had it running, the wife says, oh, fire. <coughs> it wasn't, it was just, wasn't even smoke. It was just a <coughs> hot exhaust hitting the cold air. And I got this kind of done. Well, enough procrastinating. Get back to it. Well, it's going to be a cold start.
there yeah looks like that plug wire got burned up a little uh, it's just plastic from this thing but the plug wire did get burned a little put that back on there and check it again 